A quick link in the description to our sponsor, SpeedCubeShop.com, where you can buy all of your cubing needs. Use code OMEN for a discount. Alright, hello everyone. I am making this video to review some of the more recent cheap budget options to see if they're any good and worth your money and time. So, without further ado, let's get started. First things first, we're going to be taking a look at the Maylong V2 line, starting with the light and standard. So the light and standard are actually the same thing. Um, the only difference is the packaging. So the light comes with no accessories at $1 cheaper price difference. The description says Moyu, Moyu Maylong V2 3x3 magnetic standard is a lightweight upgrade to one of the most popular entry level cubes ever. Uh, that's certainly debatable, unless they're talking about their RS3M. But I'm pretty sure they're talking about the Maylong V1. These are the V2s. Um, not really sure why I'm unpacking both of them. They're the same thing. Alright, so the light actually does come with some instructions. Uh, first thing I can say is this feels like it's made out of cardboard uh, it feels like there's a not there's not a lot of substance making up this cube but it's not bad it feels it actually feels similar to a GAN cube just more plasticky oh little X cross there take notes that's how you become sub 10 right there. All right, end slices are not very good at all. There's a little bit of catching there. And it's very fast, which is hilarious. It's like it's like it's maglev or something. Let's take a look at the insides here. So it's just a basic screw. I mean, that's actually beautiful. So yeah, very basic. Gonna run you at $7.95 for the standard and $6.95 for the light. Now let's take a look at the UV coated version. Let's see what we got. Oh, warning, choking hazard. Small parts not for children under three years. Cube age six plus years. Okay. It's a Rubik's Cube. All right, so this is 66 grams and the light and standard are 65. So I guess the UV coating adds a gram. That's kind of interesting. And this does come with an accessories box, which you can't even get out unless you open the other side. Little stand. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Whoa, okay, it turns a bit different. Okay, M slices are a, a smidge better. Grip is obviously better. It's the same cube, but it is better just because of the grip. You can kind of hold the cube better together. It's still uncontrollably fast with weak magnets. If you're not going for speed and you turn lightly, this is a pretty good option. You could definitely get a sub 10 on this cube for sure though. All right, rating these Maylon cubes, I'm probably gonna give it like a seven out of 10 for the budget side of things. I think just all around the RS3M is still better, which is funny, like that cube is four years old. There are newer versions of them, uh, but you can still get the oldie but goodie one. Next up, we have the Xena Star. Space Magnetic. The description says the Xena Star 303 Magnetic is a simple yet effective speed cube that brings things back to the basics. While similar in design to other budget 303s, we have found this one to outperform other cubes in the same price range. Let's test those words of truth. So far the unboxing is pretty nice. This cube is running at $6.95 on Speed Cube Shop. And uh, it's behind bars.
Ow. Ugh, it's tightly fitted. How did they even get this in the box? Okay, well, the feeling of it is weird. It is frosted, but it feels very, very weird. M slices feel slightly better. Magnets are still weak. Uh, fairly light. Not as, like, uncontrollable as the Maylons, but still not very good. Now, I'm not expecting it to be, like, top of the line. You know, it's a budget cube. But you also want it to be usable. I think for $6, it's not bad. There's the logo. There's the center. Let's actually do a test solve on this. Okay, this might be hard in the position I am in, but we will try our best. Oh, wow. This is high class turning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 14. Let's do one more. Okay, let's see if we can improve at least by a couple seconds. Oh. All right, M slices are good, but sometimes when you're inserting pairs, it just locks up like crazy on the corner gun. I would rate it about the same as the Maylongs, to be honest. All right, for this last one, we have the Speed Cube Magnetic. Now on the store, this is called the SCS Speed Cube Pro 303 Magnetic, coming in at $9.99. And that was a quick unboxing, like you just open it real quick and you have it. All right, I'm gonna be brutal, okay? They may be our sponsor, but that doesn't mean we'll absolutely roast their speed cube. All right, this is actually outperforming the Maylong so far. Just doing E-perm, T-perm, and moving it. Definitely very lightweight, frosted plastic. Let's see if I like it as much as I do on the time. All right, 14, not great, but it felt better than the Xena Star and the Maylongs, so that's an improvement. Okay, that was a bad cross by me. Oh my gosh. Horrific, that was horrific. Don't do that, don't do that. Stop it. Get some help. All right, come on, Speed Cube Shop. Give me a good solve. We have to get a sub 10 for Speed Cube Shop. All right, all right, I have an idea. We're gonna add a couple drops of Galaxy because it's pretty fast. So we'll do one, two, three, four drops. Break it in a bit. Maybe that's all these cubes need, is just a little bit of galaxy lube. Or any lube coming from the cosmic universe. Oh, that was so close. All right, it looks like the best we could do is a 10 second solve. We got a couple of them, which is not bad for a budget cube. But I will say, if you just spend a couple extra dollars to get like an RS3M, it's gonna be a much better option, which, you know, sucks. It makes it hard for me to, you know, flat out recommend uh, these budget options because there are just so much better options just for a, a tiny bit more money like five dollars but if you're not super fast and you're just looking for a quick cheap option 
you know, you don't want to spend $25 on a Rubik's brand. I get it, you know? So, yeah, I would recommend, like, any of the Maylongs at that point. SES Speed Cube Pro 303 Magnetic are all decent options. Alright guys, hopefully you learned something in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.